Whole Milk and Schools bill was blocked in the U.S. Senate. HHS's new programming is making nutrition education approachable and food trends to keep an eye on in 2024. Hi, I'm Reina Estrada, editor at FSD, and this is FSD in 5, a quick look at five food service stories you should know about. The Whole Milk for Healthy Kids Act of 2023, which would allow schools to serve whole milk, has hit a roadblock in the U.S. Senate. After the bill passed the House with a vote of 330 to 99 and advanced to the Senate, U.S. Senator Roger Marshall tried to have it passed by unanimous consent so it could head straight to President Biden's desk. Senator Debbie Stabenow, chairwoman of the Senate Agriculture Committee, rejected Senator Marshall's request, however, stating that while she supports the dairy industry, decisions regarding nutrition in school meals must continue to be made by science. Nourished is the new HHS program featuring live demos of nutritious recipes that focus on making nutrition education more approachable to diners. The Nourished program is centered around a simple nutritious recipe that's easy for diners to recreate at home. The ingredients are showcased on a table along with learning materials detailing why certain products are chosen. In addition, the programming features live demos of chefs showcasing how to make the recipe along with samples for diners to try. The goal behind the program is to provide education to prevent nutrition-related illness and ultimately readmission. Metz Culinary Management has released its annual list of culinary trends it expects to see in upcoming years for its education, healthcare, and commercial cuisine sectors. Here's what the food service provider believes will be trending in 2024. Diners will be craving a hit of nostalgia next year. Metz anticipates guests will be drawn to dishes that remind them of their favorite foods growing up including old-school comfort dishes like cheeseburger casserole and retro candy flavors and cereals. Blending different flavors from a variety of cuisines will be big in 2024, according to Metz, especially as the country continues to get even more diverse. Ancient grains will continue to grow on menus in 2024. The food service provider also anticipates the ingredients will be used to honor diverse cultures through food. Airmark has come up with a new way to engage diners. To that end, the Food Service Providers College and University arm has debuted All For You, a consumer engagement program that seeks to foster a sense of community and connection. The program came to be, in part, thanks to ongoing conversation with Airmark's Council of Student Advisors, who say that dining events are more impactful with activities, according to a statement. All For You launched with a series of customer appreciation events across Airmark's network last spring, more recently, the food service provider held Friendsgiving and exam cram events as part of the new program. The Pennsylvania Department of Education is hosting an inaugural school breakfast program in an attempt to increase school breakfast participation throughout the state. The three-month-long program challenges schools to increase their breakfast participation through a number of initiatives. As a part of the program, schools must follow a list of criteria, which includes serving local food items for breakfast, promoting their breakfast program, using a toolkit offered by the state, and more. At the end of the challenge, schools with the highest breakfast participation will be recognized for their efforts. And that should do it for today's episode of FSC in 5. Tune in every week and head to foodservicedirector.com for the full stories.